after marking. Next, cylinder head maintenance. Before beginning maintenance, check for carbon buildup and clean the combustion surface with care. Do not use a burner to remove carbon. The combustion surface is exposed to high heat and high pressure, so perform a color check and examine the surface carefully for cracks. Measure the stem diameter of the intake and exhaust valves with a micrometer. Measure the valve seat height with vernier calipers. Remove the O-rings from the upper part of the intake and exhaust valve guides and clean the inside. Then measure the guides. Record these measurements. Next, the lapping of the intake and exhaust valves. Apply oil to the stem and apply lapping compound to the valve seat. Reapply lapping compound from coarse to fine and lap in the valve by tapping it against the seat while rotating it. When the grinding is complete, wipe off the lapping compound completely, apply oil and repeat the process with oil. Finally, check the valve seat contact with bearing blue. Assemble the intake and exhaust valves in the reverse order of their dismantling. Before assembling the valves, fit new O-rings into the valve guides and apply grease. There are various identification marks stamped on the intake and exhaust valves, according to their use. Apply oil to the intake and exhaust valve stems and assemble them, while carefully checking their markings. Inspect the valve spring seats to make sure there are no burrs or scratches. Inspect the valve spring surfaces for corrosion or dent marks. After assembly, check that the cotters are completely in place. Next, the disassembly of the starting air valve. Start by removing the starting valve cover and pull out the starting air valve assembly. First remove the cotter pin and nut. Using the starting valve disassembly adapter, disassemble the starting valve body in sequence. Cleaning spring for corrosion or scratches. Lapping of the starting valve and piston should be done with both inserted into the starting valve body. Now begin the assembly process. Apply grease to the piston and reinsert it into the starting air valve body. With the start valve still in the disassembly adapter, screw it in and tighten to the specified torque. 